Insidious film. Insidious is a 2010 supernatural horror film, directed by James Wan, written by Leigh Whannell, and starring Patrick Wilson, Rose Byne, and Barbara Hershey. It is the first installment in the Insidious franchise, and the third in terms of the series in story chronology. The story centers on a couple whose son inexplicably enters a comatose state and becomes a vessel for ghosts in an astral dimension who want to inhabit his body. The film was released in theaters on April 1, 2011, and was Film District's first theatrical release. The film is followed by a sequel, Chapter 2, 2013, and two prequels, Chapter 3, 2015, and The Last Key, 2018. Married couple, Josh and Renee Lambert, their sons, Dalton and Foster, and infant daughter, Callie, have recently moved into a new home. One night, Dalton is drawn to the attic and frightened by something in the shadows. The next day, he falls into an inexplicable coma. After three months of treatment without result, Renee and Josh are allowed to take Dalton home point soon after paranormal activity begins to occur. The Woman in Black The Woman in Black is a 1983 horror novel by Susan Hill written in the style of a traditional gothic novel. The plot concerns a mysterious specter that haunts a small English town. A television film based on the story, also called The Woman in Black, was produced in 1989 with a screenplay by Nigel Nail. In 2012, a theatrical film adaptation of the same name was released, starring Daniel Radcliffe. The book has also been adapted into a stage play by Stephen Malatrat. It is the second longest running play in the history of the West End after The Mouser Trap. The story begins with Kipps, who formerly worked for Mr. Bentley, one Christmas Eve, he is at home with his wife Esme and four stepchildren who are sharing ghost stories. When he is asked to tell a story, he becomes irritated and leaves the room and begins to write of his horrific experiences several years in the past. Many years earlier, whilst still a junior solicitor for Bentley, Kipps was summoned to Crithen Gifford, a small market town on the northeast coast of England. The house is situated on Nine Lives Causeway. At high tide, it is completely cut off from the mainland, surrounded only by marshes and sea frets. Jezebel Jezebel is a 2014 American supernatural horror film directed by Kevin Grutert and written by Ben Garant. The film stars Sarah Snook, Mark Webber, Joel Carter, David Andrews, Amber Stevens, and Anna De Lara Gura. The film was released by Lionsgate on November 7, 2014. The pregnant Jezebel, Jesse Laurent, is about to move to her fiancé. Mark's Brian Hallisay house when their car is hit by a truck, killing Mark and causing Jesse's miscarriage.
Two months afterward, Jesse, who now uses a wheelchair, moves in with her estranged father, Leon, David and Rose, in St. Francisville, Louisiana. She resides in her mother's former bedroom, her mother having died due to a brain tumor shortly after she was born. One day, Jessie finds a box containing three videotapes shot by her mother, Kate, Joel Carter, who addresses Jessie by her full name, congratulates her on her 18th birthday. Sinister film. Sinister is a 2012 supernatural horror film directed and co-written by Scott Derrickson. The film stars Ethan Hawke, Juliet Rylance, James Ransone, Fred Thompson, and Vincent D'Onofrio. The plot revolves around fictional true crime writer Ellison Oswald, whose discovery in the attic of his new house of a box of home movies depicting grisly murders puts his family in danger. Sinister was inspired by a nightmare that co-writer C. Robert Cargill had after watching. The film was a co-production between the United States, Canada, and the United Kingdom. The film premiered at the FXSW Festival. It was released in the United States on October. 12 2012 and in the UK on October 5 2012 the film was a box office success grossing 877 million dollars against its budget of dollar sign 3 million 3 the conjuring the conjuring is a 2013 american supernatural horror film directed by james wan and written by chad hayes and kerry w hayes it is the inaugural film in the conjuring universe franchise three patrick wilson and vera farmiga star as ed and lorraine warren Paranormal investigators and authors associated with prominent cases of haunting. Their purportedly real life reports inspired the Amityville Horror Story and Film Franchise 4. The Warrens come to the assistance of the Perrin family, who experienced increasingly disturbing events in their farmhouse in Rhode Island in 1971. Development of the film began in January 2012, and reports confirmed one is the director of a film entitled The Warren Files, later, retitled The Conjuring, centering on the alleged real-life exploits of Ed and Lorraine Warren, a married couple who investigated paranormal events. It grossed over $319 million worldwide against its $20 million budget. A sequel, The Conjuring 2, was released on June 10, 2016, with The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me, do it scheduled for release on September 11, 2020.